Hello. Hi, 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 Evan. This is Teacher Anna. Welcome to Listen and Speak. How are you? I'm not bad. Oh, just a so so. Yep. <laughs> but I'm happy that you, I think you look better. You feel better compared to our last meeting that you look so tired. And that's nice. Are you ready for our English class, Evan? Yes. Yes. What's that? Ooh, what's that? Mm, this is drink. Is that a drink? Medicine? What kind? This is feed for something. It's a food for something? Yes. Oh, what kind of something? For an animal? For you? Oh, what are those? What are those, Evan? I'm so curious. This is some, um, oh my god, plant. Oh, it looks cool. I thought those are uh, egg fish. <laughs> oh, wait. I I, I thought it was some uh, like yellow fish eggs. Oh, that one. That's the one you're feeding? Yeah. Oh, are you... Is that okay? Is it okay to hold it that way? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe you're pinching it or you're hurting it? No, no. It, <laughs> I have to do like this one. How long? How long have you been taking care of this plant? One month? One month? Two months? Oh, two months! What's the name? What's the name of the plant? Because when you have a pet or a plant, Lee you, you Wong. somehow name Lee it. Wong. <laughs> That's a cute name! Thanks for sharing, Evan. Now we're ready oh. to go to our book. Now it, is look, it looks like... Okay. I like that it has its own aquarium. It looks fun. So, Evan, tonight we will have a new lesson. We will talk about Earth's structure. So, this is a different lesson Earth. because last time we talked about habitats. Today we will talk about Earth's structure, okay? Yes. Okay, so let's go here. Continent. The first word is continent. So, our planet, uh, we have different uh, land masses and we divided we are it in into Asia. Continent. Yeah, and we belong to the Asia or the continent named Asia. Europe, Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, every continent. North America, South America, Australia. Oh. Okay, so. If you would choose, if you can change something, would you wish to be born in a different continent? Oh, okay. So you will still choose to be born in Korea? Oh, that's cool. So let's have this one. Oh, next Korea one. is the best country. Yes, actually, that's why we Filipinos want to visit your country. So let's have this one. What is this? Oh, oh why are you doing that? I saw that, Evan. <laughs> your teasing teacher sticking out your tongue. That's not nice. But yeah, let's go to the next word. The next word is... I need your help, though. What's the next word? Layer. The next word is... A layer. So what is a layer, Evan? Thickness of the material covering a surface. Yes. So I would say layer, uh, these are like stairs. It has different levels. 
Okay, the innermost, the uppermost, the out, the, the outermost the cover, the innermost cover. So our Earth or our planet is composed of um, this kind of layers. And we are in the outermost or the outermost layer, which is the crust. This is where we um build the buildings, houses, walk, run. And uh, not knowing that it also has a lot of inner layers. So these are the layers. Let's talk about the, the outermost layer. What do we crust? call it? It's the crust. Yes. So that's the outer part of the earth. Okay. And then the next one is? Mantle. Mantle. So mantle In is Korea. the inner part. Oh, do you have In a word? In Korea, it, is, it says like mental. Oh, okay. So, mantle is the inner part. It's between the crust, the outer part, and the inner part, which is the core. What's the next one? Core. Core. What is core, Evan? The center part of the earth. It's the center part of the earth. It is the hottest part of the earth. It's made of melting rocks, uh, lava. It's like a volcano inside. So we, that's uh, why we experience earthquakes and sudden ground movements because uh, inside Earth, it's like a big volcano. Okay? It's very okay. hard. Now let's have the next word. Melt. What is melt? To turn from something solid to something liquid. Okay, can you tell me something that you can melt? Chocolate. Chocolate, ice cream. What else? Ice. Ice. Ice, ice cubes. Yes, you can melt it. Actually, you can also melt metals in very high temperature. That's how you can uh, make metals in different shapes. You need to we melt it. We can melt all anything. Yes. And we can also melt plastic, glass. Okay. So, but there are things that oh, we gold. can melt. Uh, like wood. We can melt wood because when you put gold. wood in a fire, it will burn. Okay. So there are just some things that we can melt. So, we we're done with this words. You did nice, Evan. So, before we go to the next page, let's... Oh, before we go to the next activity, we have this image of Earth. So, this is the Earth structure. Oh, now, I don't have a student. I have the plant as my student. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, it has a dinosaur inside? Yes. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you design it? Are you the one who put things inside it? Yeah. What are those little yellow things under? This one? Uh -huh. The yellow dots? This? I can see yellow things under the water. Yeah. Uh, little, oh. little like rock. Oh, those are rocks. Okay. So, Evan, I know it's fun to look at your toy, but we need to go back to our book. So here we have our Earth's structure. It is divided into three layers. What are these three layers, Evan? Yeah. Can you tell me? Can you describe to me these three layers? Cross. Mm -hmm. The outer layer of our Earth. One. And? Mantle. The middle layer of Earth. Four, the center of Earth. Very good. So now you're very familiar with the three layers. So here we will also talk about the other parts of Earth's surface. So first we have island. What is island? A small piece of land with water and uh, on all sides. Yes. Do you know um our country, Philippines? We are made of a lot of islands. That's why Japanese we are called too. archipelago. Japanese okay. Too. Yes, that's we are. That's why our country is called an archipelago because it's composed of different islands. It means we are covered 
and water. We have a lot of beaches, sea. Um, we also have uh, a lot of bodies of waters like rivers and lakes. Okay, so um, have you tried going to an island before? Like um, riding a boat and going to an island? Did you? Really? Island. That's so cool. How long did it take to you from boat to go to the island? Like I, I didn't go just to buy boat. Oh, did you go there by plane? Yeah. Okay, but it's fun if you try sometime. Um, to ride the boat. But I think I will. It's root. Okay. <laughs> so let's have the next. Oh, you will puke. <gasps> <laughs> Let's have this one number or the next word, please. Continent. Continent. What is a continent? Each big piece of land surrounded by oceans. Okay, so island and continent are somehow the same. The only difference is continent is a bigger piece of land. Okay. okay. It's covered. It's also covered with water. How about the next one? A large deep body. Oh, what is that? You forgot to read the word. Ocean. Okay. A large deep body of salt water covering three fourths of Earth. Okay, that is a very cool. So, aside from the structure of Earth, which is the three layers, or which are the three layers, we also have this. Uh, it's about other things we see in the Earth or in our Earth's surface. We have the island, continents, and the bodies of water. So next, we have this pictures, and I need your help uh, in naming this. All of this. So number one. one. Core? Oh, no, 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 no. Number four is core. Okay, number four is core. That's number five. two is mat. Okay, the virtue is a mouth. And number six is the mental. Mental or mantle? Mouth. No, the one. And number six mind. is mental. It's a mantle. It's M A N. And number three is continent. Number three is continent. Nice. Continent. And here we still have two more left. What do you think? Do you need help? Wait. Number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it can I don't know. Okay. Number one is the uh, crust. Do you remember it now? No. Crust. How about number five? What is number five? Number five is... Number five is... Do you need help for number one, number five? Yeah. Okay, so we can go back, actually. The word is layer. Okay. So let's name it down here. Layer. Let's say layer. You still did a great job, but that's nice that you can ask for help whenever you're confused with something. Because uh, that's my job to help you. So let's have this one. Can you help me? Okay, I can do it. Now. Okay. I so I know you can do it. Let's okay. Try. Oh, easy peasy, little squeezy. <laughs> dun dun dun. Okay, so number one is? Number one is frost. Oh, no. Number one is mantle. Look at the arrow. It points 
Jamais d'or. Oui. Oh my god. Ok, 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 ok. Ok, wait. Ron is meant. Number two is core. Number three is rust. Okay, that's it. You got it all correct. Good work. Let's go down here. I think we have a story to read here. Oh, so we still have this one before we go to the story. So can you help me name what are these words for each number? Okay, the center part of the tree. Oh, the tree? Yeah. Oh no. oh no it's the earth yeah <laughs> where did Four. you get the word three tree <laughs> okay it's core that's correct how about number two is the outer part the outer part part of the earth that covers the mantle layer. Uh huh. No, it's the outer layer. What do you um, call the outermost layer of a continent? Uh huh. No, the outer layer. Crust. It's crust. Very good. Number three. Uh, um, mantle. Oh, number three is layer. The thickness of the covering. Remember that. How about number four? Mantle. Ah, uh, melt. <laughs> What's your answer? Melt. Melt. How about number five? Melt. I need your help with number five, though. Mantle. Okay. The mantle. Continent. Number six. Oh, you need to read it for me before you answer it. One of the seven land masses on the Earth's surface. We call that continent. What do you think is the prettiest continent of all? Where is? What do you think? No, I'm asking for your opinion. What's the prettiest continent? Asia. Yes, I think so. Because here in Asia, we have lots of different things to discover. And a lot of people from different continents visit Asia. But do you know something? Oh no. So the Japan the Japan is now I think it can be the uh, destroyed by earthquake. Oh yeah, they are pretty, like they're doing their best to like make their um uh, um, country safe and protected during times like that. They have lots of things like precautionary. That is a good one. <laughs> oh, that's a good one? It's good that Japan will be... Why? You don't like Japan? Don't you know this? Okay, I will tell you something, teacher. Oh, I, I don't know it. So I, that's why I ask you why. Are you going to send me a message? This one.
Oh, let me look at it. Sorry. Oh, I need to translate it. Sorry, I can't understand. Uh-huh. Oh, the Japanese colonial period. So maybe there's something so bad that happened between Japan and Korea. That's why. <laughs> but let's not talk about that, okay? Let's go back to our lesson. Oh, the kids are you. Okay, so let's have this one. We have true or false activity down here. You need to tell me whether it's true or false. I want to do this soon. Oh, please, no. Evan, you know that our classes are being recorded, right? Yes. So your parents might see what you're doing during our class. So please uh, make sure that you behave, okay? So let's have number one. Continents are on the Earth's surface. True. So oh, yes, so we can see that they look like they are. They are actually floating. Rather <laughs> on the wall. Oh. Okay, the Earth's crust is below the mantle. What do you think? False. False. It's not below the mantle. mantle. The crust is the outer layer. How about False. number three? True. Mantle is the center of the earth. I think it's core. False. <laughs> That's why it's false. Okay, thanks for your help. Now let's go down here. We have a story about earth structure. And it's now your time to read it. And I need your help, okay? Let's start, please. Earth is like a very big solid ball. From its top all top to its center, Earth is about six thousand kilometers in depth. Earth has three layers: the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust. Is out about four, five to seventy kilometer in depth and is solid rock. People live on masses of land called continents. They are seven continents. They are part of the crust. Below the crust. Is um is is the mantle, which is made of rock. It is about three thousand kilometers in depth. The mantle is so hot that some of of the rock is liquid. The crust is about the mantle. And floats on it. The continents move very, very slowly. Below the mantle is the core. It is about three thousand kilometer in deep. That the core, the is... core <laughs> is the hottest layer. It is made of metal some of which has melted okay so imagine how big earth is then imagine how space we is yeah uh, space is far much more oh wider God. and bigger but uh, it's really amazing to think that we're here we are so small and we're here on this big planet. So let's try to understand uh, what's in the story by answering this one. You need to take note of the details. So Earth has three layers. Let's start. The crust is top. Top 
Top of the mantle. Uh -huh. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cross is... What's your answer again? Have it? I don't know. You can say above. Above? The cross is above the mantle. Okay. How about letter B? What are some parts of the cross? Part of the cross? Mm, core. Mm. Oh, mental, mental, mental. Are you sure? Yeah. So we need to understand the sentence first. Look. Both the mental. Actually, continents. Okay, continents are part of the cross. And they move slowly. Can you help me with the next one, please? Hmm. The core is the hottest layer and is mostly made of metal. Okay, metal that are very, that are very hot and most of them are melted. With off for the temperature there. How about the next one? The mantle. So, mm -hmm. so. what do you think? I think. The mantle is so cold, so warm, so cool. What do you think? It's so mm, hot. Nice one. Can you please read the sentence? The mantle is so hot that some of the liquid around is liquid. Yeah. That is correct. You did your best. Thank you very much, Evan. So let's have this one. Before we go to our next uh, lesson, we have this review question. Okay, so let's start with number one. Can you help me? Which layer is so lit rock that flows on top of the earth? Rust. Okay, which layer is solid rock that falls on top of the earth? That's crust. How about number two? No sleeping. You need to wake up, Evan. <laughs> Hello. The core is the hottest and below the mantle. Mm -hmm. The core is the hottest and below the mantle. Nice one. The mantle is above the core. And um, you need to like go um, open your eyes. It is made of rock wood to partially liquid. Okay, how about number four? The crust is where people live. And it's the outer layer of ours. Nice one. Are you not having a hard time? Like, you're looking like you're closing your eyes while reading? <laughs> it is difficult, very. Oh. 
but you're so cool you can still answer questions so let's have this one let's continue can you help me evan okay describe what mental is like mental is like liquid Mm -hmm. partially it's just partially okay not all liquid yeah partially liquid like slime <laughs> no it's actually made of rocks and some uh, liquid for uh, things from liquefied rocks so i want you to answer it uh one more time evan what do you think is a mantle mm -hmm. like mental it is hot uh -huh. you need to like mix all your answers in um, in group and then say it in a sentence mm. it is down then across and it is hot Okay, very good. And it is partially liquid. Okay, mm. partially. It is made of rocks that, that are uh, partially liquid. Okay, so let's have number two. How about the core? We're done talking about the mantle. How about the core? Or it is the hottest layer in Earth. Mm -hmm. Or in Earth and, structure. structure. Okay. And it is in middle of Earth. It is in the center. Can you say uh, it? Ah, yes. Center. <clears throat> it is the center part of Earth. Can you say it? It is the center part of Earth. Okay, yeah, you did great, see? So let's have this one. We're actually done with our lesson, but I know we still have much time um, to talk about this lesson. So let's go and look here. So uh, we will play um, a guessing game, okay? But... It's all about our story down here. Okay? I'll draw or I'll write some letters with missing, oh, a word with missing letters, and then you need to complete it. And I'll give hints. Okay? So you can answer it. So my first word is four. <gasps> Why are you so fast? Oh, now your turn. Okay. I will do it. Oh, don't get it. Available there. Wait. Okay. And it is a layer. It is one of the layers. Mm. Yeah. I uh, can you describe it more? And I'm it is to... above of the core. Ooh, is it the one that is partially liquid? Yeah. Okay, I think it's mantle. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have um. You. Oh, oh no 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 line. no! This is no no. <laughs> okay. And your turn. It's my turn. So, uh, this is what happens when you put a solid thing into like a very high temperature. Melt. Very good. Your turn. Okay. This is how um, deep? Mm, 
Okay, sorry. Can you describe this your part? This hole, how deep it is. How how deep? Yeah. How, oh, is it six thousand kilometers? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now my turn. It's my yeah. turn now. Hmm. Okay, so core is made of this thing. The core is made of this thing. Metal. Oh, you so get it. You're so good. Metal. How about your turn? Okay. Oh, you need to count the correct numbers of lines. Oh, that's a very long word. Are you sure? <laughs> you need to describe it first. Oh, this is where people live on masses. Oh, continents. Oh, this is really hard. It's so long. <laughs> continents. Okay. Now my turn. This will be... Uh, my last turn to ask a word. And then you'll have your last turn as well, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. This one. This is letter R, okay? Uh, R? <laughs> yeah. It's What's L, A. Uh, this is A and this is R. So this is what you call the cover of something, the thickness of cover. Layer. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Layer. Thank you very much, Evan. That's a nice Okay, I would word, do. You still have like um, a minute to think of your next word. Huh, only one letter as a clue? This means... Top. Oh, like on top of something. Yeah. Oh, it's above. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to try one more word? I'll give you one more chance to choose another word. No, I'm okay. You're okay. Thanks for playing this interesting game with me, Evan. It's, and it's I all... think it is not interesting. Is it not? Oh, no. I thought this No, was... it is interesting. <laughs> but next meeting, I'll think of another game that we can enjoy together. So thank you for your time, Evan. It's almost time. We still have one minute left. So I just want to show you what will be our next lesson, okay? Okay. So next meeting, we will have a new lesson. It's all about changes on Earth. Uh, like we know, we know nowadays, uh, our temperature is getting higher. Our weather is getting hotter. And we see a lot of changes happening. And here we will talk about the, these changes. And what are the factors that makes these changes happen in our planet? And we have interesting pictures. We will learn about natural things that happen in our environment. And a lot more about changes on Earth. So that's it for tonight, Evan. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something from teacher Anna, okay? Goodbye and have a great bye -bye. weekend. Bye-bye.